All right, here you go. I got all my little beer caps. They're all dried. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this Sharpie right here. And I'm going to write on them. Ooh, it's stuck. Yeah, spray paint probably isn't the best thing to use. If you have some a bunch of different colored markers, that'd probably be better. But this is all I have. All I got is a Sharpie and some spray paint. So let's go ahead and make this a D. I need a D. D is just a triangle. Okay. The sloppy looking D. That made it look a little better. It's all good. Oh, actually, I forgot to show you something. Uh, each letter in the Hebrew alphabet has a numerical value. So, in this case, this is a D. Its numerical value is a 4. So, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to write 4 on the back of it. So, this is this will help me. Uh, well, I already know the numbers, but this will help me remember what value D equals in Hebrew. So, D has the value of 4. It's the number 4. So, so when you're learning Hebrew... You need to take these letters, like the letter D right here, and when you think of the number four, or the when you think in your mind of the value of four, try to visualize this character right here in your mind. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you want to do. When you think of numbers, you want to visualize these Hebrew, uh, the corresponding Hebrew number in your mind. You want to see it in your mind when you think of that number. All right, so I got D. I need a Q. Q's like a little dome. It's like a dome with a straight line going down through it. It's a Q. Okay, now we got that done. Let's move forward. As you can see, some of my letters are a little dinged up. Uh, it's because I made some of them a long time ago, but it's all good. But anyway, now I'm going to go through and through the entire alphabet and I'm going to tell you how to pronounce each letter. I'm also going to tell you each letter's numerical value. And I'm also going to tell you how to say each letter's numerical value in Hebrew. So let's get started. First one is an A. Sounds like ah. Easy way to remember that? Looks like an A. Sounds like ah. It's the letter one, the number one. It's pronounced akad. Akad. Next is a B. Sounds like b, b. Equal to two. That's shanayim, shanayim. Next one is g. Sounds like g, g, ga. It's equal to three in Hebrew. Three is shalawash, shalawash. Next one is a d. It's a triangle. It's where the letter D comes from. Okay, and it's equal to four. In Hebrew, four is our by. Our by. Our by. Okay, the next one is an H. Sounds like ha. It's an H. Sounds like ha. It's equal to five. In Hebrew, five is kamash. Kamash. All right, the next one is a W. Sounds like wa, like water. Sounds like wa. That's equal to six, and it's pronounced shash, shash. Very easy to remember. Almost sounds just like six, shash. The next one is a Z. Looks like a Z and sounds like a Z. Sounds like z. Okay, this is that equal to. That's equal to seven. And the easy way to remember this. If I cover that little piece up right there, that looks like the number seven. So that's an easy way to remember that. And in Hebrew, seven is pronounced Shabai. Shabai. I'm also going to show you another little trick because we all know that the lucky number seven is the most spiritual of all the numbers. Everybody knows that seven is considered to be a righteous number. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the first seven of these little caps I have because they're all circular. I'm going to take them and flip them back over. 
Okay, and this is what I'm gonna do. When there's seven of them, okay? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's squeeze them all together and look what we get. When you take seven of these circular objects, squeeze them all together, you get a six point star. So, because you got a lot of people out there, they'll be like, oh, that's the six point star. That's the seal of Solomon. That's the symbol of Satan. Well, it doesn't have six points. It actually has seven points because it takes seven circles to make a six point star, okay? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, because a six point star actually has seven points, not six points, okay? And we all know the moon is a circle, the sun is a circle, the earth is a circle. What more do I need to say? Not only that, but this whole myth of the Seal of Solomon comes from an old writing called the Testament of Solomon. And this is a writing that dates probably to uh, 200 AD you know way after a thousand years after Solomon Eve lived but anyway in this story they try to say Solomon had this the seal he had a special ring to let him control demons and they try to say he built the temple of the Lord uh, by using a special seal but anyway when you actually read this writing called the uh, this testament of Solomon it tells you Solomon's ring was a five-point star not a six-point star and here's the proof All right, now I'm going to Google the Testament of Solomon. It's real easy. Anybody can do it. Now we're going to click on the very first link right here. So this is not hard to find whatsoever. Let's click on this. And this is going to take us to the Testament of Solomon. Like I said before, this story right here is where the myth of the Seal of Solomon comes from. Well, we're going to find out that the Seal of Solomon is actually a five-point star and not a six-point star. But I'm going to search this word real quick. Let's get right to the point. Okay, let's start right here, as you can already see, but I'm going to read it anyway. Now, when I, Solomon, heard this, I entered into the temple of God and prayed with all my soul night and day. Now, before I continue, this is not part of the Bible. This is not scriptures. Okay, this is obviously not written by Solomon. Okay, I just got to make that clear. So let me continue. Now, when I, Solomon, heard this, I entered into the temple of God and prayed with all my soul night and day that the demon might be delivered into my hands that I might gain authority over him. So Solomon is using this seal to control the demons in this story, because that's all it is, is a story. And it came about through my prayer that grace was given to me from the Lord's Sabbath oath by Michael, his archangel. He brought me a little ring. So this is that ring. He brought me a little ring having a seal. There's the seal. People like to speak of the seal of Solomon, right? Having a seal consisting of an engraved stone and said to me, take, O Solomon, king of David, the gift which the Lord has sent thee, the highest Sabbath oath. With it thou shalt lock up all the demons of the earth, male and female, and with their help shalt bind up Jerusalem. But thou must wear this seal of God and this engraving of the excuse me, and this engraving of the seal of the ring sent thee is pent alpha. So it's pent alpha. So just like a pentagram, the word pent means five. Okay, everybody knows the word pent means five. This is basic stuff. Make it real big just in case you guys can't see it, in case you're an old man. Oops. And you need big, giant, old people letters. You probably got an old man phone with giant numbers on it. Let's make it even bigger. There we go. Make it giant. So you can see there's a five-point star right here. So the Seal of Solomon is a five-point star. It's not a six-point star, okay? And on top of that, the Seal of Solomon is not even real. It's a made-up story. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so now now we know that the Seal of Solomon was actually a five-point star, not a six-point star. I'm going to show you something else. Let's take this number four right here. Let's spell King David's name. See, King David's name is spelled like this. It's spelled D. Let me get a, get a W up in there. Got another D down here. It's spelled D-D-W-D. Okay, that's how you spell David's name in Hebrew. As you can see, it has two triangles in his name. So if I took this away, took one of these triangles and inverted it, and put one triangle over the other, I would get a six-point star. Let's draw a picture for you, just in case. 
you're not good at visualizing things. Because David's name has this, because uh, it's actually that six point star is actually called a shield of David, okay? And it, it comes from David's name. Because if I draw a triangle right here, there's one triangle. If I draw another triangle on top of it, I get a six point star, okay? I think I pretty much made my point with that one. So let's go ahead and continue with the rest. What was we on the number? Uh, we was on this one. Now this sounds like huh. It's kind of like an X type sound or a CH type sound. It sounds like huh. Okay? And it's equal to 8. In Hebrew, 8 is Shamna. Shamna. Okay? So let's continue. Next one, this is a T. It looks like a T, you know, with a little circle around it. It's pretty easy to remember just because it looks like a T. And it sounds like Ta. Ta. Okay? And it's equal to nine. In Hebrew, nine is Thashai. Thashai. All right, the next one is a Y. This looks like a Z with an extra arm. Sounds like Yah. The Most High, his name starts with this, Yahweh. You know, people try to say Y-H-W-H. Yahweh starts with this letter, okay? The Most High's name starts with this letter. So it's a spiritual letter. Uh, let's look at, well, all the letters are spiritual, but uh, it's equal to 10. In Hebrew, 10 is Aishar. Aishar. Okay, uh, let's get the next one. The next one looks like an upside down chicken foot or something. Okay, this is a K. Sounds like Ka. Ka, like a hard K. And it's equal to 20. Okay? 20. In Hebrew, 20 is pronounced Aisharium. Aisharium. Because Aishar is 10. You see, a, when you see a YM at the end of the word, end of a word that means it's plural so that means it's two tens which equals 20 okay the next one is an L sounds like la 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 like a ladder looks like an upside down hook or an upside down staff or well, looks like a hook or an upside down staff excuse me sounds like la this is uh, equal to 30 and in Hebrew 30 is shalashim shalashim alright continuing on we have an M. M sounds like ma, like a mom. It's an M, sounds like ma. And it's equal to 40. 40. In Hebrew, 40 is arbayim. Arbayim. The next one is an N. Sounds like na, like no. It's an N. And N is equal to 50. And 50 is kamashim. Kamashim. I'm going to show you a little trick. To remember the M's and N's in Hebrew, they're very similar to the English. If I take this M right here, if I turn that upside down, it looks and cover up this little hook part, it looks like an English M. Same thing with the N. If I take that N, turn it upside down, cover up that little hook, it looks like an English N almost, okay? So that's an easy way to remember M's and N's. And just like the English alphabet and the Hebrew, they're right next to each other, okay? Uh all right, the next one, this is an S. There's a soft S, sounds like S, like S-A, S, the S, S, okay? Um, looks like a tree, kind of looks like a telephone pole or something, right? And that's equal to 60, and 60 is Shashim, Shashim. All right, the next one is an I, sounds like I, and it looks like an I, I think the I is a circle, right? So, the easy way to remember this is, it's, it sounds like I, and looks like an I, and sounds like I, and it's equal to 70. Okay, in Hebrew, 70 is Shabayim, Shabayim. All right, let's go to the next one. This is a P, sounds like Pa, 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 like Pa, Pa, it's a P, sounds like 80, okay? And in Hebrew, 80 is Shamnayim, Shamnayim. The next one is a taza, okay? This is a sound that is not in the English language, but it sounds like taza. And it's equal to 90. In Hebrew, 90 is thashayim, thashayim. Next one is a Q. This is real easy to remember because it has the same concept of the English Q because it obviously derives from the Hebrew Q, okay? So it's a lot like an English Q. It sounds like hua. And that's equal to 100. And 100 is ma'ah. Ma'ah. 
Okay, the next one is a an R. Okay, sounds like R. Looks like a number four. Okay, and what is what is this equal to? What is Ra equal to? Two hundred, and two hundred is Maathium. Maathium. Okay, let's go on to the next one. The next one is a S H. Okay, so S sound sounds like Sha, like Sh, like shout, Sha, like Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's equal to 300. In Hebrew, 300 is Shalash Ma'awath. Shalash Ma'awath. All right, and the very final letter is a Tha. This is a TH, like in the word the. It sounds like Tha. Tha. TH. Okay, it looks just like a T, looks like a cross. Easy to remember. Turn it over. What's that equal to? 400. In Hebrew, 400 is Arbai Ma'awath. Are by my wath. And there you have it. That's the Hebrew alphabet and the Hebrew numerical system. Shalom.